Hey, uh, YouTube. Yeah. Right. I figured I would do a response to Luke Morse One's tagging of me. Thank you, Luke. Um, so, five facts about myself. Um, I guess number one I could show you right now. I'm a massive metal fan, as you can gather. Listening to some priests. Awesome. Uh, favorite metal genre most probably either power metal or most probably death metal. One of the two. Favorite power metal band at the moment is Sonata Artica. And favorite death metal band at the moment would be probably a cross between Arch Enemy. I do have an album, a couple of albums of theirs. I have. Oop. Don't want to knock these off. Pokemon cards. Okay. I have Doomsday Machine. Bugger. Um, Rise of the Tyrant. And uh, two more albums there you can see. <clears throat> but yeah, they're two of my favourite albums. Um, and uh, I don't have any Sonata Arctic albums. I've bought all theirs. But yeah. Either Arch Enemy or at the moment. Um, job for a cowboy, at the moment. Um, second fact. Um, my first ever retro console was in fact a Mega Drive, and I don't have the same Mega Drive now as I did when I was younger. Um, I don't actually know what happened to my old Mega Drive. I think it just got sold, but, um, I don't have many games for it, but my Mega Drive is down here. I have a Mega Drive, see the Nintendo. But yeah, my Mega Drive. It's all hooked up, AV and all that. But yeah, I don't have much for it. But my first system was a Mega Drive. I'll um I might as well go through the games I've got now, I've got very little. So I have Sparkster, Rocket Knight Adventures, Mortal Kombat Three and uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. But yeah, first that was my first gaming system. And then I believe I got the PlayStation there. So you can see the games I've got. Oh yeah, and uh Mario's Vanessa. Um yeah, so that was my first system. After that I got a Nintendo sixty four, PlayStation, that kind of thing. Um third. Um let me think. Uh, I'm a huge <clears throat> anime fan. I don't have that much to show for it, but I do love anime. Um, things such as I'm a massive Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm guilty enough, as you can see, to still own lots of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Loads of them. It's a, it's a guilty pleasure, to be quite honest. Loads of Yu Gi Oh cards. I've got a deck, you know. Loads of cards. Um, so, yeah, and I'm, I still have a quite a small fascination with Pokemon, even though I think it's ridiculous that we've now got almost 500 Pokemon to play with. Um, fourth, I was one of the first people. I don't know if this is a fact. No, it's not a fact about me. Um, fourth. Um, when I was younger, I was a very secluded person. I was never out with friends. I was never at school with all the, the big crowds. I was always the one to be sitting in the corner quietly. Um, I've always been a very shy person. I've never been the kind of person to go out clubbing, raving, all that, and I probably never will. I mean, my taste of music reflects that. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be going out raving if my metal, my taste in music is primarily rock, metal. I mean, I do like other stuff. I do like some pop music. I like a wide range of stuff. It all depends. But I can't stand thing, uh, a genres like hip-hop, rap, R&B. That just drives me up the wall. And I'm, it's quite upsetting in this day and age. There really is just our mainstream music at the moment is just primarily bands that are just rising to fame through TV, like, and all these hip-hop and R&B artists. There's no 
new metal bands on the scene anymore. I mean, all the bands that are around, you know, Judas Priest and all that, they are still releasing albums, and, um, you know, I, I love the new albums they're releasing, so I'm very much in touch with the metal scene at the moment, as opposed to the rubbish that I think our mainstream radio and that are pumping out at the moment. Um, okay, was that three? Okay, number four. Um, um, about myself. Um, oh, I can't think. Number four. Okay, number four. I don't usually tell this, but I might as well, you know. Um, I was born with a very rare blood disease. I can't remember what it's called. It's a long medical term. But, yes, I have a, I have a very rare blood disease. I think there's only like 25, 30 people in Britain, actually no, in the world, that have this disease. I can't remember what it's called, it's some long medical term, but yeah. I've, uh, when I was younger I had to take a lot of tablets to keep my immune system up. Basically it's uh, an immune deficiency. I didn't have enough uh, cell blood cells to um, fight off infection. Uh, I'm much better now, but um, yeah, kind of a weird fact there. And um, number five, I'm very short. Sure. I always have been. I was the short guy at school, very much so. Uh, all my friends were growing much faster than me. I didn't start growing properly and all that, all, all the bodily functions didn't kick in until I was quite late, quite late compared to everyone else. All my friends were growing and all that around 13. It was around the 14, 15 mark that... Um, I was, I was growing, and uh, developing. So yeah, kind of a weird fact there. But anyway, right. Um, I've only got like two, three minutes left, so I should probably get on to tagging five other people. Um, I won't tag you, Luke, Luke Morse one, because you've just done a tag video, and thanks to you, I'm doing this video. So I think I will tag MN12 Bird. Um, I will tag two days for a living. I will tag Big Bad Daddy 11. I will tag. Um, I'll tag Fessner Ace again. Sorry, man, but uh, I'm running out of people to tag here. And. That'll do. I'll only tag four people. I can't think of a fifth person, so yeah. There's my random facts. I hope they weren't too boring or excessive and that. And, uh. Well, I'll put up another video soon. Uh, so, uh. Thanks for watching, guys.